Hey, welcome back to Test Latino. Last night, my car downloaded the new autopilot on navigation update. This morning, it got installed. We just came back from testing it, and I think it's pretty cool. Check it out. Welcome back to the channel. We're stepping out to test the new update. Specifically, we're going to test autopilot and nav. We're gonna get on the highway and we're gonna see how that works. So we're gonna put an address here to get on the highway. We're going to the Fort Lauderdale Airport. And as you can see here, there's a button that says navigate to on autopilot. Okay? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that in a second. I don't know if I should touch that right now. Let's let's do that. Navigate on autopilot. Okay, so that's active. So as soon as I get on the highway, I'm going to start autopilot and see how the car behaves. I'm going to do it from the center lane so that the car can make its choices. So we're gonna see how that works out. All right, so we are on the on-ramp. So on the on-ramp, I want to turn it on right now, but I'm a little bit uncomfortable with turning that on right now. I want to do it from the middle lane, <laughs> see how it works out. Okay. Let's see. So I'm going to wait until we're on the middle lane because, like I said, I'm, I'm not. This is the first test, so I want to take it easy at first. I have a car passing me. I'm going to take the center lane now. Just to be safe, right? I'm going to start on the center lane. And this is it. Navigate on autopilot. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Hands on the wheel. Set up the speed limit a little bit higher. There we go, there's the blue line in the middle. So, in about four miles, the car should attempt to take the right off-ramp to get on the highway that merges with this one. So, we're gonna see how that works out. So you can clearly see the lanes around us. And you can see, man, you can really see cars that are far from us. And this is new. This, this is more in real time than last night, like than before this update. This is pretty sick, actually. It's very smooth and very precise. Look at this. Oh, wow. Okay. So the SUV looks like an SUV and it passed at the same time that they passed us right here on the screen. So, um, well, this is, this looks, already looks better. This looks, really looks like a nice improvement over previous version of the autopilot. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I really do. The truck looks like a van, like a cargo van. I have a car passing me. It's actually an SUV, and it does look like an SUV. It looked like a key fob at, at first, but it turned into an SUV, I think. So we are 1.6 miles away from the exit that we need to take, and the car hasn't suggested to change lanes yet. So let's see how that goes. Upcoming lane change. 
it's asking me. Okay, I don't know what I need to do. I don't know if I should touch that or or what. Confirm lane change, use turn signal or gear stop to confirm. Um, okay, so I put the signal. There was a car, they slowed down, the car knew it, and it turned, it took the lane. This is great. So navigate on autopilot is more of a recommendation that you wanna turn. I thought the car was gonna do it on its own, but if I remember correctly, the release notes say that the car is going to re-synchronize the, the camera. So uh, at first you have to signal it. I think that's how it works. So it's here we go. So it's doing it again. I use the turn signal to confirm that it was going to take the, the ramp, but right now, okay, so the car, the car did the signal on its own. I'm not touching this. The car is taking the off-ramp. It just took the off-ramp to get on the next highway on its own. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm screaming a little bit, but I'm freaking out because this is incredible, the way that this is working. I love it. This is like a robot. So now the car just requested me to apply slight pressure on the, on the steering wheel because I wasn't touching it for a few seconds there. But this is insane. This is really, really good. The car, I told it to confirm that it could go onto the right lane before. But when it was time to decide to take the off ramp on the right or stay on the left side to continue on the highway, it did it on its own. I am very attentive. I'm letting go of the wheel here because I really want to see how it handles this big turn on this overpass and it's doing really, really good. So um, all in all, I'm extremely happy so far with what I've seen. Uh, I'm going to grab on the wheel again, just put slight pressure on it to make sure that it doesn't freak out. There's going to be a lane merge here. Uh, let's see how that's handled. My heart is pounding so hard right now because this is this is the future, okay? Oh my goodness, this is so great. Okay, so there's a truck, there's a big truck on the lane merging. That was really close, but the car handled it. So I'm gonna put the signal. So it's just to merge here, the car's doing it. Stayed on the lane, okay. It says upcoming lane change. Um, I don't know, it says confirm, but it's telling me to the, to the right. I guess I'm gonna put the turn signal. Yes, there we go. So it's doing it again. There's cars coming, the car's slowing down. Okay, let's see. There's more cars coming. Uh, it's trying to go, it's trying to go, but it sees, you see the red line? That's the blind spot, okay? so. I still don't have a chance. The car is accelerating on its own right now. This is freaking insane, actually. Um, this guy, in the, there's a, an SUV right next to me and he doesn't either pass me or stay behind. So um, this is gonna be a tough one. I'm about to hit an exit. I need to get out of this lane. So I'm going to take over completely so that I can make this. Um, that was me, I, I, that was my bad. I spaced out. I should have told the car to go ahead and take it. So, uh, autopilot is back on. It says, please keep your hands on the wheel. I'm going to tell the car to change lanes. It's monitoring. It's looking really good. All right. Okay. Okay. So, right now, I'm going to push the speed limit a little bit just to see uh, if the car suggests uh, passing a slower vehicle. I'm not sure if that's gonna be based on street speed limit. Oh, the car wants to go to the faster lane. It's asking me to confirm. I'm putting the signal. Still, the red line, the car behind slowed down. Let's see if the car takes it. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> the car is taking it, this is sick. I'm sorry, I'm like a little kid with new candy at the store, so. Loving it, loving new Navigate on Autopilot. So the car is getting to the speed that I wanted it to take. Um, 
it actually did request me to change to the faster lane. That is really, really good. So imagine what, like if we get this kind of update, when Tesla's not making a really big deal about it, imagine when they're saying that in a few months, under six months from now, full self-driving capabilities might be enabled. I mean, hello, you know what that means? That means that Uber and Lyft are gonna have a run for their money like in a couple of years because Tesla cars are just gonna drive themselves. I'm so glad, like I feel very, um, very comfortable with the way that this is working out. So I'm changing lanes, the car's monitoring everything. It's changing lanes on its own right now when I triggered it with the signal. So there you have it. Navigate on autopilot. In my opinion, this is a massive success. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, here we go, the car is requesting me if I want to go to the faster lane. So I'm gonna let it do it. Come on, let's do it. Yep. All right. So again, thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, make sure you click the bell so you get notifications when a new video comes out. Take care, stay safe. See you later.